and welcome to property focus today we've got a fascinating feature as we're going to be delving in into the world of sculpted art we have a couple who started this business a couple of years ago and they're just doing amazing things when it comes to sculptured art now welcome to the show my name is peter ngigi welcome to property focus We are here with Mandela to tell us a little bit about this sculptural art. How are you doing, boss? Hi. I'm good, 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 good. Yeah. Briefly introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Cleophas Mandela. I'm a sculptor artist based in Nairobi. Wonderful, wonderful. And you do some amazing work. I mean, Thank it's you. quite good. How did you get started? Uh, mm -hmm. It started when I was young. I uh, was working with my dad. And, you know, little by little, I, I started getting a bit of interest in what he was doing and I just found myself trying to emulate what he was doing. He's a sculptor as well? Yes. Yes. Uh, my late dad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, may his soul rest in peace. But his legacy still lives on because you're doing an exceptional job. Thank so you. how do you find the inspiration to just do all of this? I get my inspiration from individuals mm -hmm. uh, who've made impact both locally and internationally. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take, for example, Kipchoge. Mm -hmm. uh, he's done, uh, you know, He's done us proud. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I take, I usually take mm -hmm. such subjects and mm -hmm. then I sculpt them. And yeah. Brilliant. So what's the creative process like? Like how, how do you even begin? Uh, first of all, I start with a sketch. Mm -hmm. So from the sketch, uh, I, I get to determine the facial expression, mm -hmm. uh, the movement, the posture. And then from there, I do a small uh, market or an amateur. Okay. And then I move to now, uh, I use plasticine for the amateur. Yes. And then I do a big, uh, relatively big sized market. Okay. And then that one is what will guide me now to do either the piece in large scale or mm -hmm. life size or more than life size. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. After doing the large scale, yes. then I now jump into the process of making the mold. Okay. So the mold, I usually use silicon yes. and a bit of fiberglass. Okay. And then now I jump into the process of casting. Okay. So casting, I can now use epoxy resin, bonded bronze or pure bronze. Interesting. Yeah. You know, you say it so easily, but how are you able to capture like the emotions? Like the emotions, what, yeah. have you sculpted it? Are you using your hands? How are you doing all of this? Uh, mm. you, it's my hands. Uh -huh. And then I have sculpting tools that aid me into now getting smaller and intricate details of mm. the piece. So you look yeah. at a picture? Yes. And then you carve it out. Yes. My goodness. <laughs> Mandela. There's a reason why you have that name. <laughs> so what's your most notable piece? I have mm -hmm. like two or three mm -hmm. of my most notable work. And yes. that will be the Tomboya statue. Okay. And the Julius Nyerere. Mm -hmm. And there's one at uh, Wasingishu, yes. apparently. Uh -huh. So... <laughs> uh -huh. So the, the, the one for uh, Tom Boyer mm -hmm. and Julius Nyerere, mm -hmm. uh, I got to work with my dad mm -hmm. and it created that, you know, father-son bond. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was, it was a bit uh, most notable, mm -hmm. uh, you can call it like that. And I felt uh, great working on those projects. Mm -hmm. So, so there's the uh, Julius Nyerere, mm -hmm. again, uh, at Dar es Salaam at the National Housing Corporation. Uh, uh, we did that in 2016. And also uh, Bob Colimo, mm -hmm. and now Kip Choge, mm -hmm. and Eric mm -hmm. Yeah. Out of all of these pieces, which one is, what's your favorite? The one I enjoyed doing most, mm -hmm. like I can say, was the one for now Nick Ndeda. Mm -hmm. I got to now experience doing a live sculpting. Mm -hmm with a live person. Good. So the interaction, mm -hmm. um, you know, understanding the person, mm -hmm. not just from seeing from the pictures and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was my most enjoyable. I think uh, I can say like I loved working on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long does it take you to create a piece of, uh, what do you call it, art? Do you say a sculpted piece? Mm -hmm. How long does it take you? 
but it mm-hmm. depends mm-hmm. so if i'm doing uh, mm-hmm. a small piece that can take probably a month yeah but if i'm doing a mm-hmm. life-size piece of a person yes that'll take like two to three months mm-hmm. and if it's more than life size mm-hmm. it can take six to eight months okay so yeah. this guy over here uh-huh. took three months three four months three, three four months four, yeah so that's half body yeah this will take you about three four months as no, well this will take me about a month a month yeah so this guy over here this will take you now like almost a year eight months i have a question mandela so why do people prefer you i mean there's 3d printing Mm-hmm. Tell me about that, the uniqueness. If you compare the mm-hmm. human touch and mm-hmm. then there's the computer, uh, 3D printed works, oh, you can tell, mm-hmm. uh, any person can tell that this was done because it's too perfect mm-hmm. as opposed to the human touch. Absolutely. Which isn't as perfect as, you know, the way 3D print, uh, printed works are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Brilliant. That human element. Yes. I love it. I love it. Well, definitely gifted. Now government knows who to come to whenever they're doing all of these sculptures, right? Yes. Definitely, you've got some talent. Absolutely you. appreciate you coming onto the show. Aye. Wonderful, wonderful. Good, good, brilliant. That was Mandela, all about sculpted art. We're going to take a short commercial break when we're back more with his partner on this business. Stay tuned. Welcome back from the commercial break. With me, we have Sheryl, yes. Mandela's partner, yes. in doing all of this marvelous work. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Briefly introduce yourself. I'm Sheryl Nagawa. Mm-hmm. I'm a sculptor. Mm-hmm. I'm an interior designer. Right. I'm a creative. Mm-hmm. But mostly, I do interiors. So we partner with my partner. We do more sculpting and incorporate it in interiors. So that's my main goal here. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What would you advise anybody who's watching right now? Mm-hmm. You want to purchase this? Yeah. How do you go about it? Mm-hmm. What, what should you know? Should you dig a bit deeper in your pockets? How much does it cost? <laughs> uh, well, on us, we are a bit flexible with, okay. uh, with the person's budget. Mm-hmm. And that bit depends on the material chosen with the client. That mm-hmm. means we do the bonded bronze. There's mm-hmm. the pure bronze that's on the higher side. Mm-hmm. There's the bonded bronze that's a bit flexible. And there's fiberglass that's, you know, it's more affordable right. that anyone can get. Mm-hmm. And then it always ranges on sizes. Mm-hmm. So the smaller the size, the more affordable, the bigger the size. The bigger the pockets. Mm-hmm. Now, tell me about the process. How do you go about this? We got mm-hmm. something from Mandela, but we'll yes. only get something from you. Yes. So, how do you do this? Like, I saw what you did with Bob Colimo. Yes. So, how do you get that? The first thing that we always do yes. is always do sketches. Uh-huh. And sketches come from inspiration for pictures and mm-hmm. videos that we've seen. Mm-hmm. But if the person is alive, the better. The better. But when it came to Bob Colimo, mm-hmm. when it came to Bob Colimo, he had passed by then mm-hmm. so we had to work with pictures and videos mm-hmm. so there's the process where we already did the sketches and here this is the process where we had done the plaster scene mm-hmm. so we've done the now we are covering it with silicone mold and silicone mold which that's is, this yeah which is this mm-hmm. yeah so the silicone mold mm-hmm. creates an imprint mm-hmm. of the plaster scene that we made mm-hmm. so it's like we are making a, a cup 
mm-hmm. you know right. yeah so we're making the cup and we are trying to harden it with fiberglass so mm-hmm. that it's it's heavy duty mm-hmm. so after doing the molding the molding takes a whole lot of process because you have to get all the nitty gritties we did with the plaster scene mm-hmm. so after that uh-huh. it hardens up so after hardening up you can see even with cleophas here so you can see him grinding because it's mm-hmm. become really hard so we have to grind it up uh-huh. open it up so this is we're trying to create the mixture that's gonna go into the mold yes yeah so mm-hmm. this all depends on the the what the client prefers mm-hmm. could have been the fiberglass mm-hmm. could have been the bond and bros or the pure bones but mm-hmm. in this instant since mm-hmm. you are to gift it mm-hmm. we just use the the material that we are more so this is fiberglass with. so this is fiberglass all right yes so mm-hmm. this is it and uh, now he's trying to harden it mm-hmm. so but that will be the final uh, mm-hmm. kind of finish of how it will look like mm-hmm. yeah but that's the material itself first he, he looks like he's enjoying himself yeah yeah it's it's fun yes he he's, <laughs> yeah. he he likes the the creating the form all right yeah so mm-hmm. this is now the casting process mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so this is where we've already gotten the hard shell yes we've now gotten the hard shell you can okay. see the silicone here mm-hmm. you can see the 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 fiber glass that we've created to create the hard mold mm-hmm. so what is that so now paste. now mm-hmm. with that paste he's trying to create the the cast okay so with the cast mm-hmm. here he ha- we have some materials we are using like mm-hmm. epoxy mm-hmm. we have a uh, resin okay so that that's like the the back ingredient of it mm-hmm. so we have to use it and mm-hmm. even within this mm-hmm. we can even add the bond and bronze okay but with this situation mm-hmm. we're just working with the mm-hmm. epoxy resin okay yeah so this mm-hmm. is and we are trying to paste it out so mm-hmm. that it gets every niche of where we created the silicone mold yes yeah so uh-huh. and this is the final stage uh, this is in the bronze you're talking about yes okay. so now after do it clients, dries up the clients like the, the bronze yes yes i think it's it maybe it has the african feel of it because yes. it has the brown and the dark brown i see it's very african yes yes so yeah, yeah. so this is mostly our color mm-hmm. type form that we finish it off brilliant you can see when with kipchoge we've created we have the dark yeah and the bronze the original one had the original one had mm-hmm. a little bit of glowy okay yeah okay but for now this this is the mm-hmm. finish that we did for bob wow because uh, this is what we wanted to showcase for them looks and amazing they liked it. it looks amazing yeah it looks so good yes in terms of challenges mm-hmm. um what would you say the biggest challenge is The biggest challenge mm-hmm. let me say for mm-hmm. now that I've realized mm-hmm. is this kind of sculpture work is not something that has been known in Kenya mm-hmm. and it's something we have to accept because most people even if you go in anyone's house mm-hmm. they have a painting yes the least of a sculpture may it have maybe mm-hmm. it's a, like a small one and maybe they got it as a from China know, yeah. yeah or from uh, curio shops yes yeah of which we're not discrediting them <laughs> no <laughs> yeah. but yes so mm-hmm. that's where people have those mm-hmm. two small things inside so this is what we are trying to create that we can actually create for you something that you want mm-hmm. in the size that you want yes. in the form that you want mm-hmm. and still have it as yours mm-hmm. place it in the house place it exterior anywhere mm-hmm. yeah. and has the demand changed do you find more people doing sculptural art Mm-hmm. Um yes mm-hmm. I found the demand has come from people mm-hmm. wanting it. Yes. But mm-hmm. people doing it not yet. Mm-hmm. I think maybe it's on us that we need to showcase that mm-hmm. you can have this skill set, you can practice it. Mm-hmm. It's not shocking. It's it's not a something that cannot be done by anyone it can okay so but the demand from clients mm-hmm. has started i think even from the controversies and everything brilliant yeah we've got so some people so there's a yes yes a big appreciation there's some people sorry yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. out of the situation that happened okay yeah you have yes. been on the social media and all mm-hmm. we've gotten so many people asking okay. inquiring wanting to know what hap- what's going on with this okay. so we are happy to mm-hmm. share information You know? brilliant brilliant yeah. so where have you seen clients put in their works ah, mm-hmm. this kind of works we've seen them in interiors mm-hmm. in exteriors mm-hmm. you can even on walls mm-hmm. on anywhere particularly but 
Okay, on our end, when because we, you're working with uh, human figures, mm-hmm. human faces and people, so most of the time, if you want to have it in an interior, mm-hmm. that means uh, inside your house where mm-hmm. there's the living room, dining, you have to specify a space where you want it to be seen. Mm-hmm. Could be like a centerpiece where everyone who enters the house sees it. It could be on the entrance where anyone who's at the door sees it first and maybe creates a story out of it, mm-hmm. which is nice. Mm-hmm. It could be in a nook, mm-hmm. maybe like a small niche you've made in your living room and you want it to be there and you want it to be something that ex- uh, accentuates your space, you can have it there. And um, that's mostly if you want it in your interiors. Mm-hmm. But if you want it in your exteriors, we would recommend it, maybe you have it in a garden, yeah? Mm-hmm. And the way you place it is why it's important. It will go uh, maybe at the certain uh, center stage of the space, you know, where maybe where your cars are parking, you could put it there. You could be anything. You could be even, you could make it even functional. You could have a statue of, uh, even a statue of David, and maybe it's a fountain. It, mm. it could be removing water, mm-hmm. or you could even have, you know, any, any, anything very you think interesting. of very interesting yes so which that's brings another question in yeah. terms of uh, weather resistance yes how does it fare on how should you protect it so say somebody contracts one mm-hmm. uh, what do you advise them to protect it from weather changes uh, yes okay so mm-hmm. at first we always like to talk to the client mm-hmm. and uh, ask and try to investigate where do you want to put this piece even mm-hmm. before we start so mm-hmm. you can even go to the location yes. if it's in kitengela you know very hot that's so, hot yes. yeah yes. Yes. If it's in Karen, you know, it's, it's cold. cold. Yes. So mm-hmm. we see the location. Mm-hmm. We recommend mm-hmm. the material that can be used at that space because we cannot use a uh, certain material that can go to Karen, mm-hmm. cannot go, go to an outdoor mm-hmm. in Kitengela. Mm-hmm. So it's something we need to discuss with the client first, and Brilliant. then we recommend the client the, the material that can sustain the Brilliant. weather that's there. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So you've done churches, you've yes. done mausoleums. Oh. You've uh, the bereaved. Yeah. What else can you do? Can you do animals? Yes. Yes. Uh, we've done so many animals. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, spaces. People actually, mm-hmm. weird enough, mm-hmm. people who have gardens and big spaces, yes. they always want to have animals. And okay. I think maybe it's an African thing because of mm-hmm. the big five or yes. safari, mm. which is good. So I can say from, uh, from the exterior point of view of homes and also commercial spaces, We've gotten some clientele who want animals. So. Mm. You got taught by Mandela? Yes. He actually taught you how to make this? Yes. So before then, you never knew how to make this? I was, uh, okay, mm. I was an artist. Okay. I, uh, I've done, I was doing a lot of painting. Mm. I was trying to figure out myself. Mm-hmm. But where we found each other with Mandela, mm-hmm. I was doing wall murals. Mm. And wall murals, the type of wall murals I was doing was called relief. Mm. Relief art is, is kind of like a cross section of a 3D sculpture. Mm-hmm. It's like I just decide to just do the face mm. of Kipchoge and stick it on the wall. Oh, I see. Yeah, mm-hmm. or maybe um, mm-hmm. even a plant, mm-hmm. like cut it and stick it on the wall. So that I was see. the type of work I used to do. Mm-hmm. So out of my portfolio, we mm-hmm. met, uh, I was recommended from a friend mm-hmm. to showcase, to show him my portfolio. So mm-hmm. out of that, he kind of liked it and was like, who's this girl? <laughs> So that's how we started, we met mm-hmm. and we're like, ah, let me see what kind of work you do. And then I saw what kind of work he does and mm-hmm. I was like, this is nice. Interesting. Yeah. Ukangu kanayo. Yes. He was a bit resistant of uh-huh. me going to his studio because right. he was he was saying, ah, you're a clean girl. Mm-hmm. You know, the studio is dirty. I don't want girls being here. So I was being excluded. When mm-hmm. I come into town, it's like, let's go for a date. Let's go and eat food. Let's go and walk around. So I never had the chance to go into the studio until the dad now met me and he was like "Ah, uh-uh. Mandela there's something you're doing wrong here try and push her give her opportunities to to do something because I've seen the work she's doing and you met her because of the interest so it, it was a bargain because you know you have to befriend the dad to to push the him so <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to do it wow. but after the dad pushed him mm. out of like for a really long while he got into the box and now this mm. is where we are now <laughs> interesting yeah literally a labor of love yes yeah. well there's somebody who's watching yes and they're aspiring to become a sculptor yes do you have classes do you teach uh, um, what would you advise that young man young woman yeah. <laughs> such as yourself who's watching 
Well, mm -hmm. for now, mm -hmm. I can say we are trying to create the brand. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm being honest. Yeah. We are trying to create the brand. Mm -hmm. We are trying to get the resources. We are trying mm -hmm. to get the space to actually teach. But it is on the, it's on the, what's it called? Mm -hmm. On the procedure. Yeah, we, we are wanted to reach Concept. to that point. And you're, you're getting there. Yes, we yes. are. Yes. Yes. So right. people not to give up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. we are going to go to that space as yes. soon as possible. Uh, yeah. So we want to teach kids mostly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, Grown-ups can come for yes. uh, classes from a professional. Oh, like yes. my uh, fine couples fiance. can be coming over here. Yes, yes it yes. could be something that couples could do as well. Yes, during yes. the weekend and you don't mm -hmm. have anything to do. You can mm -hmm. come and do like a small sculpture, go yeah. back with it at home, place it in your house. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So I need to come with my person. Uh, please. You said you would arrange for me somebody, right? <laughs> yes, I've told you this. <laughs> Alina. There's Alina. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Well, thank you very much for coming onto the show. Yes, thank Brilliant. You. Yeah. There you've had it. Literally a labor of love. Ladies and gentlemen, family, it's been absolutely amazing. We got to hear from Mandela and Cheryl about sculpted art, and I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. So, till next week, same place, same time. Goodbye.